What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Today we are talking about the Master Air Screw replacement props for the DJI Mavic Air. What I want to do today is actually see if these things work. So a little backstory on how I came across these. I was on Instagram and they got me. I'm a consumer. I was scrolling Instagram, going through the feed, and then I ended up on somebody's story. And then before I knew it, I saw an ad for DJI Mavic Air replacement propellers. And if you have a Mavic Air, you probably know that these are really hard to come by. I believe Master Air Screw is like the only company or one of the only companies to make low noise replacement upgrade propellers. There are tons for like the Mavic Pro and the Phantoms and all those drones, but for the Mavic Air, especially since it's pretty new, not many companies have made them. I don't know why, but I came across them and I was like, I've been looking for some, I wanna see if they work. And so being a consumer that I am, I went ahead and ordered them. I haven't had a chance to try these out yet, so this is gonna be a first impression with you guys as well. But before we get into the test, I wanna give uh, a couple comparisons between these and the original uh, propeller. So I have the two props here. We have the original propeller here and then the upgraded propeller here. So first impression right off the bat without even like picking them up or inspecting them is the upgraded master air screw propeller is definitely shinier. It's smoother and when you pick it up it's it definitely has a smoother texture. So I looked up the propellers obviously when I ordered them I was on their site. I kind of went through their frequently asked questions and all that and one of the questions was um, why are they smooth and so uh, their reasoning behind that is obviously a smoother surface is going to create less drag and less wind resistance so they're much smoother in texture and also they're much softer you know the the original propellers are kind of rigid i mean they're plastic so they bend easily but these bend even easier you know they're they're really they almost feel thinner they definitely are thinner uh they're definitely sharper on the edges there it, it seems like they're meant to be much more aerodynamic hopefully that's the goal with a replacement prop that claims to be more efficient, uh, have better flight times, and be quieter. If you have a Mavic Air, you know like the, the swarm of bees sound that it has. It's pretty obnoxious and it's very loud for such a small drone. And so I'm, I'm hoping that this reduces the sound. I'm not expecting it to be like silent. So even if these props don't make it quieter, like reduce the actual decibel range, if it does make it less ear piercing, if that makes sense. It's kind of hard to describe, but if you think of a swarm of bees, it's really high pitch, it's very obnoxious. So if these props even just kind of bring that tone down a little bit to like a lower hum, I'll be happy because that in perception will make it quieter. So uh, first impressions, again, smoother, definitely feel lighter and definitely feel like they bend easier. I'm not sure how that's gonna translate into performing in like windy scenarios, if that's gonna make a difference. But again, just going over first impressions with you guys. After looking at them a little bit closer, I believe this is a little bit longer than this one. So if you put them side by side, uh, I actually measured it. This is actually about two millimeters longer than this one. Really not a huge difference, but I did notice like I had them on side by side by side and taking some video of them, they did look a little bit longer. So I measured them and lo and behold, the master air screw was a little bit longer in fact. So I think overall, I mean, they feel pretty good. Again, as, as good as a prop can feel. Uh, we'll see how they perform. Uh, with that being said, let's, uh, let's get them out in, in the air and see what they sound like. So what we're gonna do is go down. I believe I have, actually, one second. We're gonna go down and get this thing in the air. This actually already has a set of props on here because what happened is I actually ordered two pairs. Um, and I got one pair in and weird enough, one of the pairs had like a crack in them. So I reached out social media. I was like, hey, this arrived crack. I'm not sure if that's a usual thing. Hope not, uh, but is there anything that can be done? They're like, oh yeah, if you haven't crashed it, you haven't done anything, uh, we'll send you out a new pair. They sent out a new pair. So I have a pair on here, the uh, original pair that has just been, a, been sitting on here. I haven't flown this in a little while. And then I, also, I have the other pair right in here. So. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna put the original props on, we're gonna go down, we're gonna fly it, put it up in the air, I'll take a video of it with the mic on, so we have a, a directional mic, which is hopefully going to capture some good audio and at least give us a good comparison. And so we'll fly it for a couple minutes, see how it sounds, and then I'll switch the props, fly it again, it will come up, 
look at the video and see if there's a big difference. So let's get to it. All right guys, so we made it outside with the drone, phone, with the controller, camera, and we're right outside of like a little garage. I'll show you guys. So I think I'm gonna fly it right about here so we have a nice controlled area. We don't have much behind it that could pick up uh, more noise, keep it as controlled as possible, bring it up to a hover, and then get some footage, get some audio for you guys, and see how it goes. So let's do it. Twenty minutes later. All right, guys. Just got back up from filming these clips, flying the drone, and I gotta say, no matter what we hear on the computer, and I haven't even seen the clips yet. I haven't heard the clips. I haven't seen what's gonna come out of this camera right now. Um, importing them as we speak, but no matter what, they're quieter, guys. They are no, they're quieter. They are substantially quieter, not just like. I, I don't know if I can tell the difference. Like, no, from the second it takes off, it's quieter, it's lower pitch, it's not as whiny in your ear. I am, one, I'm out of breath. I'm climbing four set flights of stairs. But these things, guys, if you're looking for low noise, I didn't test the efficiency. They claim to increase flight time by a, a few handful of minutes, I think. Uh, but I didn't test running the battery and anything. But solely for their re noise reduction qualities, they're worth it. Uh, I believe these run about $22, $19, I can't remember, in the $18 to $26 range. But even if these were like $30, $40, they would be worth it because that noise reduction alone is clutch. Like I, I can't even express how blown away I am at how different they sound. So just a little disclaimer here, guys. This is not sponsored by Master Airscrew at all. They did not tell me to do this. They didn't even ask. They didn't say, hey, if you want it, you can do it. No, I bought these with my own money. I purchased them because of marketing. I'm a consumer and just want to test them out and show you guys the results. And to be honest, these are probably the best accessory for the Mavic Air, like other than ND filters. But low noise props for this thing, because everybody knows how loud it is, is crucial and I think they're one of the only ones out there. So let's get these clips into the computer and see what they sound like so we can tell exactly you know, if there's a difference from the mic. Guys, there's a noticeable difference. Wow, guys, so I had to move the camera just because my computer was in the way. But there is a clear sound difference, as you guys heard, between the original propellers and the Master Airscrew propellers. It's definitely a lower pitch sound, and I don't even think this video did it justice by the clear difference. <laughs> just like even in the video you heard it but in person you hear it so much more and how less annoying it is so with that being said I think that's it for this video <laughs> everybody I think the main question is do they actually work and yes a resounding yes they do work they they work as advertised again I didn't test the efficiency and to see if it increased flight time. I wanna say they claimed for it to improve flight time by like two or three minutes or something. Uh, I did not test that. I just really wanted to test this purely for sound purposes because I think that's the worst thing about the Mavic Air is how loud it is. But I think that's gonna do it guys because the main question here is do they actually work? And yes, absolutely, they absolutely do work. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below with anything you have questions about. If you have used these, what are your thoughts? What are your opinions? 
Have you tested the efficiency of it? Have you actually timed out how they do with battery life and all that stuff? I will link the product in the description box below if you guys wanna check them out. But I highly, highly recommend them. Their customer service is awesome. Again, uh, they sent me one and it had a little bit of a, like a, a crack in it and they sent me out another set. Uh, awesome customer service. So definitely check them out. Consider them as a new accessory for your Mavic Air because there's not many, if, if any, replacement propellers out there that do the job. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.